We are doing UHB3 and we have done um, up to lecture 9 and interspersed with the lectures we are doing the practice sessions of exercise 1 for now which is observing the self by the self and we came up to step 4 yesterday. So in step one, we were just observing the imagination as is without trying to change it or evaluate it or stop it. Just observing the imagination, the feelings, the thoughts, the expectations in the imagination and particularly focusing on the feeling. In step two, we asked whether the feeling I have at any moment whether it is naturally acceptable to me or not. Do I want its continuity or not? And in step three, we asked whether this feeling that I have at any moment, which I can see is either naturally acceptable or not naturally acceptable, am I comfortable with this feeling or am I uncomfortable with this feeling? Am I in harmony with this feeling? Or in other words, I am, if, you know, I am happy with this feeling or I am feeling unhappy with this feeling. Then yesterday we talked about step four, which is a very important and crucial step. And that is who is deciding the feeling that I am having at any moment. Is it the other human being, perhaps the one that I'm in, I interacted with? Or is it the situation outside? Or is it me, myself, who is deciding the feeling? And most of us were able to see that it is me, I, who is deciding the feeling. The other human being or the situation outside may sometimes act as a trigger. It may draw our attention to the feeling that we have. But ultimately, it is I who is deciding my feeling. It is I who is 100% responsible for my feeling. And therefore, we can say that I am 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness. So we took the example of, say somebody says something harsh or abusive to you. What do you, you know, how do you, respond or react to this. So sometimes if you are doing something that you perhaps enjoy doing and you are you know, working undisturbed and somebody comes and asks you something, maybe once, twice, thrice, four times, then you say, stop irritating me. Or this person is very irritating. So we have to ask ourselves, is the person irritating? Is the person irritating me? Or am I creating irritation within me? Who is deciding the feeling that I am having? And yesterday, the assignment that we gave was regarding this, that in every interaction with every other person yesterday, try to reflect on this. Observe your feeling and see who is deciding the feeling. Is it that other person? Is it the situation outside? 
or is it me myself who decided it yesterday in one of my interaction i was having a telephone telephone conversation with someone and from the other side the other person was complaining and complaining about different things so i was getting uncomfortable listening to all those complaints so there was this feeling in me to just close myself and just tell the other that i don't want to talk but i could not say so mm-hmm. so i just said that okay i will call you later mm-hmm. and i disconnected the call but i was not comfortable even after saying this mm-hmm. that i will give you a call later because somewhere inside me i was not feeling good about you know, her being complaining about different things yes so, when like i observed this that the other is you know she was expecting me also to join that complaining thing mm-hmm. that i should you know, participate in that and say yes uh, yeah he is like this he is like this but i was not feeling like you know going into that complaining mode mm-hmm. so in such cases when you are not comfortable you don't want to talk about in complaints and negative things then disconnecting yourself from the other is it the right thing what, what do you should think? we do yeah at that moment i felt like disconnecting mhm so i disconnected i said okay i will talk to you later but you were still not comfortable why yeah yeah because that other is very close to me <laughs> try to look at the feeling that you had okay so see our feeling at any moment keeps changing isn't it now when you mm-hmm. say she is close to me you know at some point you will have a very good feeling about that person yeah if they are close to you no you may have had but when they are doing something you know in the action which is not to your liking or not what you think should be the case then at that moment what is your feeling for that person yeah i was not liking i was not liking her yeah then yeah so at that moment you had a feeling of opposition this is the cause for the discomfort when your feeling is not in line with your natural acceptance you feel uncomfortable now you disconnect she is no longer there she is no longer talking to you but even when you recall the incident you can recall that you are uncomfortable so you may not have reacted outside but if we see inside there is discomfort isn't it yes so it's good we didn't react outside because then you know we are expressing our discomfort to the other our unhappiness and then they also become unhappy they were already unhappy <laughs> therefore they are complaining but now you know it worsens the situation outside also so that part is and perhaps we may have done that earlier but perhaps now you know like you said you don't want to go into the complaining mode but if you see we also don't have acceptance for somebody who is complaining if you look at why the other is complaining is it because she wants to complain is it because that's what you know she wants to make you unhappy like this no she no, wants no. to complain yeah this is what i felt that she wants to complain why does she want to complain Yeah, because there are some she is having some issues huh 
she is having some issues from the past say, five or six years. So regarding okay. those issues only, she is not yeah, letting okay. them go off. Yeah, but she may not realize that, no? Yeah. Should just I like tell her that she should let the things, past things go off? Yeah, just like how you are thinking that she is the cause of your unhappiness. She is also thinking that those people that she is complaining about, they are the cause of her unhappiness. Can you see that? Yes, yes. So it's not yes. that she wants to be unhappy. It's not that she wants to make you unhappy. But her competence is a little bit lacking at this point. No? Yes. She's not able to see this. She lacks that understanding. Can I do something for her? I mean, should I tell her something? Yeah, so first of all, we have to watch our feeling. Because incidents like that, they trigger, you know, and we choose because it is my choice what kind of feeling I have. We choose to have the feeling of opposition at that moment. Because something that we think they should be doing, they are not doing. So rather than have feeling of opposition, if we try to see that their intention is same as mine, they don't want to make me unhappy. They don't want to make anybody unhappy. But they are already unhappy. So they are only going to share their unhappiness. Isn't it? So it is a lack of understanding in them that is creating this problem. So what should my role be? If I can see my relationship with that person, my focus will shift to what is my participation. Isn't it? Yes. So now when I shift to what is my participation, I will start looking at the other person with concern and see that they are so uncomfortable. How can I make them comfortable? And then there can be various ways. There can be a variety of ways, you know, depending on your interaction with that person, your closeness with the person. You can have discussion with the person. You can try to show them, you know, the positive side also. The, the whole picture rather than just, you know, focusing on the little bit that didn't go right. There are many ways. And you'll be able to find any creative way to help out. But first and foremost should be that willingness to help the other person. That willingness, will come, that willingness will come when we have the right feeling for the other person. But as long as we think that they are the cause of our unhappiness, we keep harboring a feeling of opposition in us for them. And that is the cause of our unhappiness. Isn't it? Yes, yes, it is true. So this is this is what we need to do because. Many times during the day, not only when people are interacting, but when we are thinking about the interaction also, we become unhappy, we become uncomfortable within. And we keep thinking that the other is responsible for this. So we try to cut off from them. We try to ignore them, we try to get away from them. But it is only when we can ensure our feeling within and then you know, see things from their perspective, we see a different picture. Now we don't see them as the cause of our unhappiness, rather we see that they themselves are unhappy and they need help. So now my whole focus shifts. And you will find, you know, check at that time how you feel within. 
you will feel comfortable within. So nothing would have changed outside. That person has not changed. That person didn't stop complaining. Isn't it? Yes, nothing yes, of that has changed. But what Only has I changed? am uncomfortable and the other is, maybe she forgot also about the discussion. <laughs> yes. But you are still thinking about it because somewhere, you know, now we have started referring to our natural acceptance and you can see that the feeling that you are having is not naturally acceptable to you. You become uncomfortable with that feeling. So, when you decide to help her out, when you see she is in discomfort, her, you know, intention is pure, it is her competence that is in you. Now, when you have these kind of thoughts, what is your feeling at that time? Are you comfortable or uncomfortable? You will see your thoughts moving in the direction of how you can help her. And you will find a way to talk to the person, discuss with the person, rather than just leave her out or ignore her. Can you see that? Yes, Didi, yes. So this is the effort that we have to make. It may seem very difficult at first, but as we keep practicing it, we will become better and better at it. Yeah. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I feel good when I share something. So I share yeah. every day. Yes. Yeah. It is good that you share because many other people will also benefit. Everybody may yeah. not be comfortable sharing, yeah. but such sharings also help others. Tonight. Thank you. Thank you. The last 24 hours, I am thinking, in case mm -hmm. of uh, uh, any incident, myself is responsible, but I am very clear. Mm -hmm. But, uh, for example, uh, when some uh, people I speak in the evening, uh, mm -hmm. told even Saturday they go for uh, some smoking or some other, they know. The, that is a injurious, creates a cancer and everything. Mm -hmm. The education and everything, no, this is a uh, creative problem. But uh, why we produce that cigarette or smoking is dangerous to health, everyone knows. But why we have in the root cause analysis we have done, that is dangerous. But in the initial stage itself, we can stop the manufacturing of the cigarette. In the way my thinking is going on. <laughs> yes. So if you see, I wouldn't say they know, they have the information. No? Yes. They have the information, cigarette smoking is bad for health and this and that and all that. But if they themselves don't have happiness within, they try to find that happiness outside, through sensation, through the body, through you know other methods. Yes, but uh, they give the answer, you don't know, we are physically working, uh, some external happiness, uh, unavoidable circumstances they take, even though advice uh, one or two weeks they stop then again if it comes in difficult situation again start in there yeah see we have to see it like this now, like i said you know they don't have the happiness within they are not able to ensure the feeling of you know, the right feeling a feeling that is naturally acceptable to them so they lack the happiness within so they are trying to find the happiness outside. But if we look at ourselves, yes. right? Yes. Now, if we can see this in the other, then we will again see this, that it is not that they want to do this or they are knowingly doing this, but they lack understanding, no? Isn't it? Yes. They have the information. 
but they don't know how to get out of this habit if you ask them also they'll not be happy about their smoking or drinking yes. or whatever habit they want to get out of it yes they have this information that it causes problems but they feel helpless because they don't realize but this that is that why my mind is thinking in the initial stage itself if you have manufacturing in the cigarette is not possible they don't have a chance to go that in that area yeah then cigarette smoking may not be you know that may not be a reason but then they might be looking for you know the right feeling from the other outside for their happiness it will be something else yes yes isn't it yes so rather than try to change everything outside of course you know there is no point in manufacturing cigarettes i agree because it is harmful for whoever who can you know consumes it yes but till we are able to manage that in the systems outside yes if we can see that you know how many things would we have to change outside many 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 things and still even if everything is you know fine outside if within me i have discomfort i am uncomfortable no i will still yeah. be unhappy from within so point is should we be trying to change everything outside and even then it may not work or should we rather focus within and try to have the right feeling within and with that then work outside mm. so like this person that you are saying or anybody else who has oh. such habits you no know, you can see that they don't want to mm. but they feel helpless we all know that you know uh we don't want to have the feeling of opposition isn't it yes but lot of times we do now we can say that we know this and still we are doing it and we are doing it again and again so we the problem is we have the information we are trying also but lot of mm. times our sanskars are very deep rooted Hmm. and with that sanskar it keeps driving that feeling when we are not aware so the important thing is to be aware of the feeling that i have at any moment so that i can ensure the right feeling within myself the first thing that will happen there is nothing outside has changed the other person is still you know saying the same things the systems have not changed but the first thing that will happen is i will become calm now this what i thought was disturbing me no longer disturbs me and i start working on what i can do so if you see all these workshops that are happening this is a, an example of such an effort no because yes, we can yes. see we can see that this understanding is required by all mm. so we are participating in that and we are trying to help increase the understanding or the availability of this for all mm. it may seem like a slow process but if you look at it mm. ultimately you know mm. society the, mm. hospital admission uh, surgery they have changed it i don't know how, how this is possible after the attack prevention is better than cure we have understood but uh, after admitted the hospital and the surgery the some people are changed that we have to accept yeah see sometimes people will go till wherever they feel it is possible to go but when it comes to a point where it is you know that the body is now in going to be in very bad shape so lot of times people will make that effort and try to stop because they are you know they don't want to lose the body yes 
so yes that happens and it happens with us also see yes. when things yes. come to a head then we may decide something but before that we may not think of it as something so dangerous lot of times see if you look at many um, news items and this happened that happened so and so had this problem that problem now the information is there mm -hmm. but you don't always think that this will happen to me like if you yes. look at the doctors doctors have all this information and yet doctors there are many doctors who smoke many doctors who drink so why do they do that they have the information the problem is if i don't have happiness within i will i am bound to look for happiness outside in some form or the other yes so the solution what appears to be right is that we fix it from inside no if we are happy yes. within then we stop looking for this outside mm -hmm. so that is that okay thank you uh my question was that if you are not comfortable if you are not uh, uh means feeling right shall we continue that whatever is happening outside we should just uh, uh accept it and we should not give our opposition over there yeah important thing is you know expressing opposition is one thing but within me what is my feeling at that time so i may stop myself from expressing it but if my feeling is one of opposition inside i am still going to be unhappy even though i didn't express it outside of course it's better not to express it outside because then i am creating disturbance in the other also but if you see ultimately rather than trying to suppress that opposition outside you know the better thing would be not to have the opposition at all so what you are saying acceptance perhaps you mean that and at the same time seeing this that you know the other person lacks understanding they need help and seeing my role if i can see my relationship with that person if i can see that you know i am related to that person not just to my immediate family members i am also related to that person now i have some concern for that person and so i try to help that person isn't it same thing like what neetu yes, ji was yes. mentioning in the beginning yes, yes so my focus shifts to that now i am comfortable also i try to help the other person also whether the person outside you know changes or not that is not up to me that will depend on the other person's effort it will depend on many other things isn't it i don't have control over that but at least i can see that i am 100% responsible for my feeling and i can you know have the right feeling and be happy that is 100% in my control Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes. Whenever we are taking a decision uh, regarding anything, uh, uh, if I decide myself, uh, if the things uh, went on wrong, uh, I thought about myself. Yeah, I I should not do like that. I should not decide it uh, like that. Uh, so this is the mistake uh, uh, from my side. but uh, sometime we are discussing to take a decision in the family or with the friends somebody suggest uh, this is how uh, the, you you can take this decision uh, this is right way to do so based on that we go and uh, later uh, the results are not good even though i am not expressing that uh, uh, with them yeah i am not getting that fruitful result based on the what you said uh but the my i observe myself my feeling is not uh, good i am not comfortable mm -hmm. uh, that is how uh, i behave uh, yeah yeah so yeah. can you observe your feeling when you are uncomfortable yeah ma'am 
uh, that means uh, i know my mistake but uh, the thought how it is going on means uh, they should not suggest by the time if they are not suggesting that uh, <laughs> point i am not going that like that the thoughts are going uh, keep on yeah. going so yeah. i i still consider them responsible for my wrong um, yeah ma'am yeah uh, that i am sorry yeah ma'am yeah. so that is how you know it happens when we are mm. not aware mm. so now mm. like you are saying i can see that i am responsible mm. isn't it yeah but ma'am. still when i am thinking about it it is like that why because mm. the feeling is not right na the feeling is yeah. what is driving the thoughts mm. the feeling at the base if i don't have the mm. right feeling mm. if there is a feeling of opposition the thoughts will all go in that direction that's why i have all these thoughts if they had mm. not said this i would not have gone in that direction which means i am blaming mm. them for the decision mm. that i took but when mm. i when i you know look at it perhaps mm. at at another another moment i am able mm. to see that this was my decision ultimately so i am responsible yeah. mm. it is okay they gave their opinion but it is up to me to decide whether to mm. take that opinion or not to take that opinion mm. and they are also giving some opinion based on whatever is their understanding or lack of understanding isn't it yeah. Yeah. so i cannot assume that every other person who gives me the opinion will be right for me it is up to mm-hmm. me to decide that's why this internal compass the natural acceptance mm-hmm. that's why with the natural acceptance when i refer to my natural acceptance and i have the right feeling mm-hmm. then i am also able to rightly evaluate myself and the other person mm-hmm. and then make the right choice outside also mm-hmm. first and mm-hmm. foremost i have to be centered if mm. i myself i am in discomfort mm. then i am likely to make mistakes outside also isn't it yeah yeah ma'am yeah thank you ma'am thank you i just want to there's a, there's a kind of uh, thing which i want to understand whether i got the thing correctly or not uh, see you said that the expression of feeling can vary according to the situation right it can be uh, like it, if it is urgency i may uh, express in a in a different way but keeping the feeling of comfort within uh, within me that is important by referring my natural acceptance and what is more important is i need to see the relation with that person and i need to be concerned for that person right and uh keeping these feeling i need to make program for cooperation but what happens that maybe uh, there is there is a one you know kind of uh, lack of competency within me that mm-hmm. on that particular moment i am not able to make the program keeping the relationship keeping the age keeping the situation uh, you know in my in my mind maybe i can i can be delay for making the program of cooperation but if i am comfortable uh, within mm-hmm. as you mentioned right now ki i need to be in the com- uh, in the comfort state first otherwise i myself will be creating uh, the problem for others true so yeah my question was like how to work on that particular part that you know without delaying the thing that competency level will like how to work on that uh, to to support other to cooperate other this is what we are doing the exercise see what we say observe your imagination particularly the feeling at every moment mm-hmm. so it is you know what tends to happen is when things are going right we are not really observing when something happens outside which we think is the cause of our disturbance then we start thinking how to change this how to correct it but okay it's like any habit no 
Hmm. If you have a habit of doing something, you will keep doing that habit, isn't it? Sure. Unless you try to change that habit in some form, isn't it? We have been habituated to looking outside, hmm. and so we are not paying attention inside. We are not paying attention to what is my feeling at this time. We are not even paying attention sometimes to whether I am comfortable or uncomfortable. I just have some vague idea, and you know, people say I am in a bad mood today, but they don't know why they are in a bad mood. Mm -hmm. Why they don't know? Because we are not looking inside. If we look within, we'll be able to see the reason where it started. But it will take time. It will take effort. It will take practice. No. If you think about it, for generations we may have been looking outside, and how long have we spent looking inside? Very little time, no, comparatively. Right. right. So that's why we are not used to it. Okay. So we have to make effort to pay attention inside. This is why we keep saying, in the beginning, you have to, you know, perhaps sit down, spend half an hour with yourself at a time when you are likely to be undisturbed. And try to pay attention to the inside. What is going on in your imagination? See the thoughts, the feeling, all of that, and do this on a regular basis every day. And slowly, we get habituated to looking inside all the time. And when we go further and we go to the you know other exercise also, we'll notice that this is possible for us. We can pay attention inside and. As well, at the same time, pay attention outside also. Mm -hmm. So that is all possible, but we just have to develop our competence. It will take time. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so, so that means uh, by doing, by being regular in exercise, the mm -hmm. breaking of that habit pattern, which was like switching to um, outside situation, will slowly uh, get down, and then. i will have you know a kind of program ready for cooperation yeah i mean the program will happen only see how it goes my sanskar drives my feeling that will come to the sanskar but if you see my feeling is driving my thoughts you know mm -hmm. then only i make the program right so if my feeling is of opposition my thoughts are going in that direction avoid the person how will i make a program my program will be that only stay away from this person mm -hmm. isn't it but right. it's only when you are having the right feeling you are calm within you are able to see that the other person is in problem then you have concern and you try to do something for the other person that comes very naturally you don't have to make effort because now you have concern mm -hmm. isn't it uh, if i am uh, able to hold myself that i do not express uh, with uh, somebody has being in opposition to me uh, what i was able to see is it was only for a temporary part that is whenever i get an opportunity uh, with the interaction with the other with that opposition within staying uh, i try to blast later somewhere uh, <laughs> when i trigger the right now i was trying to hold with my on understanding that okay i should not do it but uh, but still it is there within so with all there within and when whenever there is an opportunity to me uh, that uh, i go out of my understanding then i once again try to put up all that uh, not the conversation which is going right now but also that old one so all that is going to come outside of me so that is what is an observation but until and unless that feeling within is not set right so that i keep on keep in me and always it it pops up and that is what is the disturbance that i can i am able to see that that means the feeling is more important in all the steps that we need to look in that otherwise uh, that is temporary only that uh, i just try to hold myself that uh, i should not uh, that that part i am able to see that's what nice. Yes, that's very nice. That's very true because the feeling drives the thoughts. Then the thoughts drive the behavior outside. Yeah, yeah. So if I'm trying to control the behavior, but the feeling is not right, it will only be temporary, like you said. 
the moment i lose awareness again same thing will happen no? the bad part is i i bring all the old one also the whatever i hold it within <laughs> i throw out and all that is worsened then then mm-hmm. I, it becomes still uh, worse than the what is right now with with only one uh, happening which is there in front right now like that true you find many times you know when people have fights they bring in all yes. this yes. even last year you did like this even yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. back you did and even in the beginning when we met 15 20 years back that time also so we are holding on to all that where is it yes. going it, not that it's gone somewhere it's still within us yes yes sir. somewhere within us but we are harboring it inside yes, and building on it every time yes yes sir. so rather the natural acceptance is the solution yeah yeah, yeah. work Thank with you. the natural acceptance then we can uh, didi uh, what i deciphered from today's session that uh, first of all i have to work on my feelings uh, my harmony and mm-hmm. when i'll keep working on myself it will reflect out from my personality itself and perhaps then i'll be able to cooperate the other person also uh, to be out of the contradictions between the relationships but it is what i deciphered um, from the two days uh, lessons that um, first of all work on myself if i'll be in harmony it will reflect uh, automatically out of my personality okay uh, what i yeah. want to say yeah. Yeah. one second you can yeah. say that i would say that when i am in harmony mm-hmm. at that moment i am happy hmm. so but i have to work on my understanding no yeah yeah sometimes i'll be in harmony sometimes i'll be in disharmony yeah and so it I... happens for moment moment matlab momentarily it uh, happens that be just outburst yes and But... between 5 to 10 minutes we realize no that i have done mistake i have committed a mistake i i have not be i used to go to back to the person and tell sorry also but it mm-hmm. happened happens mm-hmm. with me mhm yes that it i happens used to get outburst yeah Yeah, it happens with all of us, and we'll find that we are able to get over it. We are able to see what is right, what is naturally acceptable to me. You know, what kind of feeling is naturally acceptable. Work on that. You know, have the right feeling. When I have the right feeling, very naturally, I you know start seeing things from the other's perspective. I start having. Um, you know uh, concern for the other mm-hmm. and accordingly i make my program so my behavior will change so i would say that you know when we are um, having the right feeling that's good we are in harmony we can see you know we have concern for the other we can see but you know what you mentioned you know you, when you are in harmony it reflects outside but we may not be in harmony all the time how to be in mm-hmm. harmony all the time for that we need the understanding for and that we keep working on ourselves improving our competence isn't it and while improving our competence at the same time we can be trying to help the other also see unless i activate that activity of contemplation within me i am not able to see the relationship because i have assumed that my relationship is only with my immediate family members therefore i you know with that strong assumption whenever i am not aware it will be what comes out because i have feeling you know of relationship perhaps with my family members i may have feeling of opposition or you know i don't see my relatedness with others so i have one program for my family members i have a different program for the outside of course the program may be different even when you have the right feeling but the point is that my feeling is what is driving the whole um 
the the whole cascade of what followed practicing uh, how to be in harmony we can uh, uh, we can build the these mood swings that's why i mentioned that these uhv sessions help me a lot from uh, coming out of the um, my mental uh, um, or you can say my psychiatric problems though i have been told by my doctor that um now you can um, discontinue your medicines because now we tend to think this way that this is happening in the body therefore i need to treat this hmm now this is how uh, it is interpreted hmm in the medical world in you know hmm. how study medicine and all yeah yeah there are these chemical changes physiochemical changes and definitely there are those changes in the body Hmm. i just want you to explore this possibility that are those changes happening and therefore you have these problems or are you having you know certain feelings and thoughts which are causing this effect on the body that there are changes in the body so it's a new perspective of looking at it ah uh, yeah which is why i was saying that you know we end up treating the body but the problem is in the self yeah 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 i understand i understand yeah, yeah. because uh, uh, upon feeling I, upon big change in feeling these physiochemical things will also change actually yes as per science yes. also yes so that is why your medication need will become less and less yeah as yeah you focus on the inside within you yeah yeah, yeah. nice so now in step 4 we said that i am responsible and it is up to me to have the right feeling isn't it whatever is the feeling that i am having at any moment it is my responsibility and i am deciding that i am choosing it now you know question is what is the basis how am i deciding my feeling hmm? is it based on right understanding or is it based on some assumption in the absence of right understanding so you'll find that when you're deciding your feeling or thought on the basis of right understanding you are able to decide in favor of a feeling that is naturally acceptable to you and when you do that you are comfortable you are in harmony you are in a state of happiness with it if you are deciding your feeling or thought on the basis of some assumption in the lack of understanding then it is not sure it is not definite what feeling you will decide for isn't it so if things are you know if i have some assumption that this other person is fine is uh, you know good to me is a nice person i will have the right feeling isn't it and if i assume this person is somebody who is uh, not the right kind of person is having uh, wrong ideas or things you know as an example i will have a wrong feeling for that person isn't it so based on my assumption whatever i assume accordingly i will have the feeling so it's not clear with that at least it will not be definite that my happiness will be ensured because now i can see that the feeling you know that i have it could be naturally acceptable or it could be an otherwise feeling based on whatever i assume about the person or about that situation so my state is indefinite sometimes i am in harmony i am comfortable i am happy sometimes i am uncomfortable unhappy so with this i can see that 
i need to have the right understanding so that i can decide my feeling in line with that all the time ensure that feeling and be in happiness all the time the, regardless of whether the things outside have changed or not so we'll reflect on that today